Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and who I've learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutation also to all you Akim, you brothers preaching his word and truth, and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. So this one is another installment of scripture of the day. Uh, this one being Psalm 30, 30 and verse 5. So without further ado, uh, Lord willing is to be edifying and exhorting unto you. So again, Psalm 30 and verse 5, it reads, For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. And this is what our Lord blessed us with was with the grace, right, through the blood of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, or uh, of Yahweh Shai. But through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, he's showing us favor right now. Okay. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He brought us to life. Now we are actually uh, not in that dead state anymore. You know, but we're living through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai via the Holy Spirit. So it says, this is the point I wanted to uh, to grab here. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And this is very spiritual. Uh, when I first read this, uh, when I first, yeah, you say read. When I read this a few days ago, uh, immediately a breakdown in uh, the book of Hosea. Lord Billy will grab that here in a second. Uh, in the book of Hosea, starting at uh, 6 verse 1. Uh, the elder Matathia had broke this down and it stuck with me. I, I took a few notes on it because uh, right now, what well, right now we're in uh, the night alluding to Esau Edom's uh, rulership, right? Weeping may endure for a night. It said, uh, it said when the, when the wicked are, are in rule, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, loosely paraphrasing. And right now, all of creation is weeping and all of creation is waiting upon the manifestation of the sons of God. Loosely paraphrasing that in uh, Romans 8. All right. Every, like we're all sighing and crying. Even those that are ignorant, whether they know it or not, <laughs> you know, they're fed up as well. Because this the state of this world, man, is, is wicked. It's, it's under a wicked rule, wicked vibration. We are weeping, man. We're signing, crying for all the abominations that are being done in the midst thereof. Or everything is out of course. You know? So it said, but weeping may endure for a night. It's only, it's only for a moment. You know, we're just passing through. It says, but what? But joy cometh in the morning. And this is when our Lord, Yahweh Shai, returns. So, and I'm going to grab this uh, book of Hosea 6 and verse 1. It says, come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. You know, and that's what's happening right now. Uh you know, we're being binded up. Right? He woundeth, he healeth. He bringeth to the ground, he bringeth back up. And he has to uh, uh, knock us down to build us up. You know, he has to humble you first. <laughs> and he comes with the healing. He's the ointment, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. His word. Um. So, yeah, and then uh, it said in verse 2, this is it right here, Hosea 6 and 2, after two days will he revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. So that two days, right, we know uh, a year with the Lord, or so like a day with the Lord is what? A thousand years. That's in Second uh, Peter 3 and verse uh, eight, 
It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So a day in the uh, in the Lord's time is as a thousand years unto us. So a thousand years upon this earth is only one day to the Lord. So when we go back, right, Hosea 6 and 2. It said that what after two days he will revive us and it's been uh, over 2000 years already. Right. So on the third day, he will raise us up and he's in the process of doing that right now. We are being raised up, man. Again, and we shall live in his sight. OK. And what? So and I grabbed uh, well, I put in the notes here again after two days. Right. And we know, according to the book of Genesis, uh, evening and morning truly begin a day. Or the day starts in the evening, goes into the morning. All right. And then as, as night closes in, then the day starts again at what? At, uh, at sunset. This is why you got the, you know what I'm saying, with the Shabbat. It comes in on, uh, on, on sundown, sundown to sundown. All right, being that day. So what? <laughs> evening and morning evening and morning truly begin a day. So right now in the night, right in the in the in that third day, while we're being raised up, we're still in the nighttime. Right? We're still under the rule of uh well right now Esau Edom is still in rule in the night. Right? He ruleth in darkness. But what? He will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. And when the sun arises <laughs> during that third day, which we're waiting upon, we're waiting for the morning, right? It says uh, when the sun arises and the sun, right, the son of God arises, that's when our Lord returns and we truly live. Right. We will truly live. And again, we uh, to an extent, we are living right now again. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahshai via the Holy Spirit. But right now we're not like in, in these uh in these chains of darkness, man, and we're in captivity. Are we really living? You know, figuratively? Are we living? No, we're just existing, man. You know? Uh, uh scriptures say, uh man, I'm, it's escaping me right now. Um, it's basically a, a, a man. The basically, the more you know, the more bitter you will be. And I know I'm I'm way off. <laughs> Try to quote the scripture, uh, Lord willing, it could come to me. Or it'll come back, Lord willing. Uh, wisdom. It might be in the book of Ecclesiastes or Proverbs. Make it the, oh, kind of. Surely oppression make the wise man mad. Call all y'all by y'all shy. You know, because we know what's in store. And we know how, again, how this place is completely turned upside down. This is, uh, bear with me, Salakia. Here it is. You see, I don't know why. Maybe I was just spelling it wrong. Is Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Ooh, it says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So just, <laughs> and that's the spirit. Just how, you know what I'm saying, in that third day, well, going back to the uh, book of Hosea, 
And two, in that third day, he will raise us up. And again, as we're in the process of that, it said the end, it said better is the end of a thing than, than the beginning thereof. Because what? Uh, 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 again, because that, uh, you know, the evening and the morning are at the beginning of that day. But what? Towards the latter end of that day is better. <laughs> it will be better. Right? It's going to be glorious, man, when our Lord returns. You know what I'm saying? We get blessed with them new bodies to where we're perfect. We got the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. And no more suffering. It's going to be complete peace. No more war. Right? No more oppression from the enemy or the other nations. No more slaving. All these things, man. It says, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. All right. Um, let me grab just um, one more and then we'll close out. This is Baruch chapter 4. And again, man, the water to the elder Matatia. Um, you know, the water Yahweh by Shim Yahushai. Is Baruch 4 starting at. Um, Uh, and really the whole chapter, man, is fire, but I'm going to just grab um, 21. And when you have when you have a minute, go ahead and read this whole chapter, man. It's, you know, it brings you comfort. Again, you know what I'm saying? Through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Comforter. This is Baruch 4, verse 21. It says, Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, who's his children? The Israelites, starting with the elect. And be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. And this is what we're, we're surely waiting upon. All right, our Lord to return all right, and to, to put the nations uh, in subjection. It says, for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. That's right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says, And joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Woo! <laughs> Hey man, it's gonna be an everlast everlasting kingdom. Lie with lie with lumium. Lie with lumium lie with lumium. Alright. It said the morning is only for a moment. As you read in uh, uh uh Psalms 30. It says uh verse 24, Baruch 4 and 24, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation. From our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. All right. Because uh, and, uh, you know, that bright star, Yahweh Shai returning and also uh, representing his, his angels. Right. And the great glory that he's coming with the army, the host, the host of heaven. Right. And these nations have seen our captivity and our past lives and they see it right now taking advantage of us. Right. The other nations benefiting off us. But what shortly they're going to see the strangeness of our salvation and they will see us be glorified in our new bodies because the other nations, they're still going to be in the flesh. In the kingdom of heaven. And they're going to see the transferring of power from from the wicked to the righteous. Coming from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with great glory. Because what? Our Lord is not meeting them as a man. He's coming in his full power. He's coming as that lion, man. Waiting to devour his prey. Uh, so I'm going to jump back to Psalm 30 real quick. I'll read it one more time and then we'll close out. Uh, this is Psalm 30 and verse 5. 
except for his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy's coming. Joy is coming, man. Be patient, endure, and keep praying. I pray we endure until the end, man, and that the Lord keep his, his Holy Spirit upon us. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wa, Abad, Babal. Soo!